It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I want to start off by saying a massive thank you to Simon who contacted me and sent me a whack of beer a couple of weeks ago, um, including this one. Now, every year, Fuller's Brewery, Fuller's Smith & Turner, bring out their vintage ale around November time for the, of course, the cold seasonal months, if you like. Not necessarily Christmas. I wouldn't necessarily go as far to say that this is a Christmas beer. It's more brewed for the winter months. It's 8.5% ABV. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle. When it's cold outside, looking outside, the clouds are rolling in and it's about six degrees out there and you know, you're rolling your shoulders, looking for a bit of warmth. Then you can open a beer like this, can't you? And nice boxed beer. Now each bottle is individually numbered. This is 111734. Eight point five percent ABV. Now it's interesting because I reviewed this beer, poof, oh, about ten years ago, I think. Maybe not ten years. Maybe about eight years ago. But I haven't had it since. Uh, there's the bottle cap. Now the older bottles, if you save them, I understand that the year two thousand bottles of Fuller's Vintage Ales is going for an absolute fortune on eBay. Oh, because it's the year 2000 and it's a 20, 20, 22 year old bottle of beer. Uh, it's probably still drinkable as well. So if you want to age one of these beers for a number of years, you could do that too. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Now I would be interested to see, since I reviewed this beer, Fullers have been bought out by Asahi. I'd just be interested to see what, what they have, what they're brewing, what they're doing. Have things changed? It looks very nice. We've got a two to three finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's a amber coloured ale. Looks very, very nice. Let's get the aroma on the beer. And it, smell, it smells like a beer that you want to smell and sit and hug and enjoy for... Probably, you could probably stand and hold this beer and caress it and get the aroma for a good five minutes if you wanted to. Lots of good quality malts coming through. Very biscuity, very bready, but very hoppy at the same time. There's aromas of plum and figs and prune coming through. It smells incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a beer. What a beer this is. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. It's quite dry. It's quite dry. Quite a dry kind of... And I mean, if you think of Asahi, their famous beer is Asahi Super Dry, isn't it? So, kind of ironic, really, that this beer is really dry. It is a bottle conditioned ale, so I'm just having a look at the beer now, and there is, now that I've added the yeast and the sediment to the beer, it has gone hazy. It's more of a, 
it's more of a cherry red colour really, that's, that's nice and hazy now. But the flavours, I'm still tasting flavours now, there's plum and there's fig and there's prune, raisin, biscuit, breadiness. Absolutely fantastic. Another thing I want to mention is I've been to many of these regional brewers. Uh, I've been to Shepherd Neem. I I've never been to Fuller's, by the way. I'd like to go to Fuller's. So maybe I should change that sentence to I've tried many of the boxed beers from breweries. Shepherd Neem did a Generation Ale, which is which was terrific. Um, Green, I've had ones from Green King as well. Uh, Suffolk, Suffolk Strong Ale. But when you think none of them have had the same success as Fuller's. Every year, Fuller's bring out this vintage ale. It's available in Waitrose. I don't think it's that much money, to be honest. I think it's between £3.50 and £4 for, a, for, for, for one of these. Maybe a touch more. You know what I'm like with my pricing. But you can pick it up in Waitrose now, this time of year, November 2022. But the other, the other regional breweries around the UK, if you think of Brains, if you think of Badger, if you think of Green King, if you think of Shepherd Neem... None of them have these yearly releases of these boxed beers that has that same level of success as Fuller's Vintage Ale. And I think that's just down to probably bloody minded stubbornness where every year they keep bringing the beers out. Every year you see a few beers going onto eBay some of the 1998 bottles and then over time it becomes a bit of a thing it becomes I must have a bottle of Fuller's vintage ale now <coughs> pardon me now I got a bottle of 2021 as well because Simon sent me two beers 2021 and 2022 version of this beer now it's funny because I drove all the way out to Waitrose last year on a rainy night looking for these for, for Fuller's Vintage Ale and I couldn't find it. I found the Camden version, Camden Brewer a speciality kind of uh, Christmas kind of seasonal beer. Um, doesn't do as well as Fuller's Vintage Ale by the way but um, I, I picked up the Camden but I couldn't find the Fuller's at the time so it's ironic that a year later I have the 2021 version as well which I'm probably going to age. I'm probably going to stick that up on my beer shelf up there next to my bottle of Whitbread Celebration Ale. Oh, that's good. It is blooming good. It is, I mean, the warmth, the warming sensation at 8.5% ABV. On a cold winter's morning, feel the, the warmth as the beer slips down into the pit of the stomach. It's a lovely feeling. The mouthfeel, I've not touched on the mouthfeel yet. I've touched on the carbonation, but not the mouthfeel. It's rich, creamy and smooth. It's got a... Like Golden Pride is, you've got you've got London Pride, which is about four point five, is it London Pride? Uh, Golden Pride, which is about eight percent ABV, and then you've got this, which is eight point five percent ABV. This is more refined. This feels much more refined, ref, refined than um, than the Golden Pride. It seems like it's on another level. Almost like it's been barrel aged or there's some oak in there or something. It seems different. Perhaps it's just a mental thing and it's just that it came in a box. Sometimes in life all you need is a, is a little box and with a beer in and you're happy, you know.
Look at the quality of the beer. As I rock the beer back and forth, you can see the quality of that beer. Look, look at it. Never mind your fireplace videos where you're watching fire burn. If I swirl that around for the next eight hours, maybe I could make a beer swirling video. Um, eight hours long. I, I mean, I could sit in front of that for eight hours, couldn't you? Look at the way that head redeveloped itself. Absolutely incredible. Cherry, plum, fig aromas. Wonderful taste. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful taste. I'm going to rate it. Um, I absolutely love it. That's, um, oh, they've been brewing it since 1997. So they've been brewing this for boom, 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 25 years. So it's the 25 year anniversary of this beer. Uh, as with every vintage ale, this beer is brewed to mature over time. Bottle condition, the natural sediment will form. So store upright and pour carefully. While we always put a best before date on this bottle, the flavours will continue to mature and develop for many years after. So probably by year, by law, they have to put a best before date by law, which is the 31st of December 2025. But if you want to stick this on your shelf, like I've got my own special shelf up there in the sky. If you want to stick this on the shelf for the next 30 years, 10 years, 20 years, however long you want and open it, it will be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not sure what my original rating was for Fuller's Vintage Ale when I reviewed it back in the day, but... Um, I'm going to I'm going to rate it again and I'm going to say it's just it's a remarkable beer. If you're looking outside and the weather's a bit grim at this time of year and you need something to kind of just warm the cockles up a little bit, sit, sit next to the fire then grab yourself a bottle of this and enjoy. I like this beer enough to give it a stone the crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Pardon me. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.